all right so what is going on today youtube back again with a very short video but another video nonetheless because we did actually get one more duel after we got done um playing the first two then don't don't fret you guys don't you know you ain't gotta type it down i'm tired of saying it was well, the last one um we, you know we just you know got, got, got a good dual session in so you know we, we did record i'm just gonna put it out there like that so anyways yeah man vendred versus world chalice again and i believe i win the die roll um and yeah the camera is off like you know the 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 the, the way the camera looks right now it's off because uh, we were just trying to hurry up and record and get a good duel going um at least something you know because there was like 15 or 20 minutes left on the camera so trying to hurry up and get a duel as you can see i'm able to start off like i said i win the die roll and i start off with a pre-prep and right now i have i believe unizombie gozuki and a mazuki in there oh a sage in the hand never mind no, that's i mean it's technically a unizombie um but yeah man start off with this sage and the you know the pre-prep didn't get ash so i'm just hoping he doesn't have an effect veiler or something like that and we are good so able to get the unizombie out so right now i'm going to be using his effect but right now i'm just going to dump from my hand i'm going to dump from my hand a gozuki and i'm going to use gozuki's effect and we're going to just basically do the double omega combo which you guys already know how that is and this is the best version of the combo to do um if you have gozuki in your hand you're just you're going to plus so hard because um, pretty much what you're going to be able to do is basically send any zombie to end off the play um, with uh, You're going to be able to send any zombie to end off the play with you zombie because you haven't used the send effect And that really helps out a lot when you do do that because you know You're able to set up pretty much anything in your graveyard um, If you do it the other way, you're not able to send anything, you know, you're only able to pretty much uh, discard a card out of your hand um, but yeah, this is a lot more flexible. So with the Unizombie effect, I'm able to send Hound Horde to the graveyard and go into another Omega. And since I pre-prepped, we're going to be able to bring out Vendred Slayer um, with the Hound Horde effect, which is good. But you know, these hands are just so few and far in between. Um, you're not really able to do this consistently because uh, you need a pre-prep. Um, you also need to somehow put Vendred in your graveyard and stuff like that. Um, but yeah anyways uh going to the standby phase uh gonna return the mizuki to the graveyard um and so as you can see activate key the waterfront which i'm not too afraid of because i do have a veiler in my hand i'm able to stop any play he's able to do also i'm able to get rid of the hound horde that uh is in his uh what's his name I'm, I'm able with hound horde effect or slayers technically effect i'm able to get rid of the waterfront and just in case that becomes any much I mean, any problem and stuff like that, if he tries to add or anything, I'm able to get Hound Horde for free. And as you can see, he does not have anything because, uh, yeah, he just does not have any of the combos to really go off. So, yeah, I'm able to take a quick uh, first duel. So, we're going to be getting up into the second one real quick. No pausing, no stopping. And as you can see, I show the, I show the double Veiler, which is good. And it actually works out because, look, he has the Herald. Of orange light but i have the second veiler to stop his venus oh man it feels so good man when you can draw it when you draw i'm trying to tell everybody man veiler is the card that you need to pretty much exist and i start off with a preparation of rights but preferably wanted the what's the name uh preferably wanted the pre-prep but hey i cannot argue with that and you know what i don't draw and i say it all the time i don't draw vendred charge a lot but as you can see we're pretty much getting places, folks, because not only, uh, no, no, I mean, Revenant is equipped with what's the name, so this game, is, you know, is, is most likely over because he can't, he, technically, he can special summon, but if he does special summon, it's not, you know, it's not going to end up too well for him because since I played this deck so many times, I know exactly what to uh, banish. Uh, what you really want to do against War Chalice is get rid of the M Duke. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what you want to get rid of. As soon as you see an M-Duke, you just want to get rid of it, stop it, do something about it, because, uh, yeah, that's going to lead to most of their plays. Um, and as you can see, he's checking his graveyard, so I don't know if he has a Soul Charge or not. Um, but as you can see, I drew into a Slayer and a Kaiju Slumber, and I'm sitting here thinking, should I slumber 
to put some monsters on the board but then again how what what else am i going to be able to do i'm not going to really be able to do nothing because um if i adventure a charge this game would have been over um but i don't so um <clears throat> i'm not able to pretty much equip uh slayer back with revenants i'm not able to get to a revenant so i'm just going to attack and be like hopefully he doesn't draw anything too broken so i can you know i, I, I can at least get one victory so he can st he starts off with the shine ball and i believe he goes into the m duke if i'm not mistaken or as he goes into the link spider no he goes into the m duke and here um i use the effect to vanish his m duke um and he's able to i mean he, he used transmodify for some reason but he has an e telly um and i'm thinking okay well you you, you can't do nothing with that so uh, you know i'm not tripping once again like i said you get rid of the m duke you're doing some good things um so right in here my heart is beating fast because i'm like oh not again not again is he able to you know come back and pretty much is he able to beat me because i mean he did kind of waste his normal summon but he is granted another normal summon with uh either brilliant fusion or another m duke and he can go into an m duke with uh just that normal on the board so right here i'm thinking please please man i've lost too many games to bullshit um, I don't want to lose another game. So here, when he starts fanning his graveyard, I'm like, damn it, he has Soul Charge. He has something to where he can just drop it and beat me. Uh, because, I mean, there's no reason you're fanning your graveyard unless you have something to, you know, bring out from your graveyard. I mean, you have some type of card to bring it out from your graveyard. So here, I believe he goes into a another M Duke. Or, uh, no, he's not, a, you know, he doesn't go into another M Duke. Um, I think he's trying to see where, where my card is presented. You know what? We probably should do that. We probably should definitely get some pointers. Um, but no, he ends up scooping because he doesn't really have anything. Look at his hand. Just awful. I'm fine with that. Thank you, everybody. See you guys tomorrow.